it was story time at Cool School. Oh, hey kids. Today we have a very exciting story to read, Little Red Riding Hood. Let's get started. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a cute little girl. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood because she always wore a... It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. In today's episode, Drew's got to fight something big to save something little. Wait a second. Something doesn't look right here. Hmm. Well, that's Little Red Riding Hood, all right. But why isn't she wearing red? Hmm. I guess we could just call her Little Riding Hood. No, no, no. That's not how the story goes. I've got to figure out what's going on here. With story time on the line, Drew got right into costume. Then he sketched the portal and jumped right into Miss Books' storybook. Sure is spooky out here. Oh no, my cape! Help! Hold on! Drew Pendus to the rescue! Oh, I wasn't expecting to see a young boy. It's mostly grandmas and scary wolves around here. I heard you scream. Did you need help with something? Yes! This scary villain lady just came out of nowhere and stole my red cape. She said something about loving colors. And she had this really cool color vacuum thing. Hmm, loves colors and has a color vacuum. I know who your problem is. Ray's Kale, and she's not going to get away with this. Oh, thank goodness! I need that cape. Kind of hard to be Little Red Riding Hood without the Red Riding Hood part. Well, if I were a girl in a red cape in a forest, where would I go? Oh, how about Grandma's Cottage? That's where I like to go anyway. Good call. Here. <laughs> Hop on. Whoa, cool. And off Drew Road with Little Red deep into the dark, scary forest until they reach Grandma's cottage. Then they peek through the windows. There! That's her! And that's my cape! And that's my Grandma! I think. Come over here, dearie. Come to Grandma. Uh, you like have a really deep voice for an old lady? The better to greet you with. And like really big eyes. The better to see you with. Uh-oh, I know where this is going, and it's not good. Stop right there, both of you. Drew? Ugh. What do you want, kid? I was just about to eat my dinner. We want my cape back. Another one? Where do you kids keep coming from? You can't just steal people's capes, Grace. Oh, yeah? And who's going to stop me? I am. The stupendous stupendous on behalf of my fellow caped crusaders. Ha! Huh. Well, I'm like not impressed, so scrap. I hereby demand that you return Little Red's cape immediately. Uh, yeah, what he said. Or else. Ah! Well, when you put it that way, got a jet. Till next time, Drupus. BTW, you guys have some like great colors in your outfit. We gotta talk. We sure got her bad this time. That was awesome! Man, this thing is tight. Thanks for sketching me this awesome hoverboard, Drew. She totally fell for it. Wait a minute. I have to eat someone. Grandma doesn't want to be hungry. Hmm, I think I got a better idea. I'm on it. So Drew ran outside and sketched a full moon in the sky. I told you wolves like to do that. Animal Kingdom 101. Looks like he'll be busy for a while. You guys are the best! Couldn't have gotten my cape back without you. Nothing can stop us. <laughs> ah, that, maybe that guy. We better head out while he's still distracted. Yeah, and Miss Booksy will be waiting to finish story time. Thanks, you guys. Anytime, Red. Now you better go find Grandma. Something tells me she'll be needing your help. Once upon a time, there was a cute little girl. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood because she always wore red. <laughs> and there it is, her red cape. You did it, Drew. You saved the story. That's what superheroes do. Well, kids, Drew and his buddies saved the day once again. Little Red got her cape back, and story time was right back on track. Moral of the story, boys and girls, always be wary of big bad wolves dressed as your grandma.